Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Binding of Isaac Adder Birth Plus. Check it out, 23 wins in a row. What do you do? You take a deep breath? You come to peace with the fact that 80% of your fate is determined by the random number generator, and you have a Lilith run instead of a Keeper run. <laughs> L-Fly, put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. 7WZ6. Ooh, you know what? You won't see me do that too often. But this room was just spooky enough to get me to use Box of Friends early. I do not like this room. And just in general, you know, I accept that my Lilith plays tend to be a little bit on the bad side. Duh. <laughs> yes, I'm very familiar with, with, with so-called pop music. Pop, of course. Uh, short for popcorn because it's such a thrilling event that you get a bag of popcorn when you listen to it and you pay for the whole seat but you're only gonna need the edge oh you do not mind getting a little bit of mind action early on or as I call it getting some brain no, NL, that's not... NL, you're gonna get in trouble! What? Kanye West said it. Have you ever popped champagne on a plane while getting some brain? He said, I ain't ever seen snakes on a plane. You know why? Because he's not watching movies. He's reading books, also known as getting some brain. What do you mean that's not what it means? I don't know, we're starting a little silly here. Today is Sunday. Um... Yesterday was my day off. It was a very busy day off, to be honest. I, w I woke up, you know, here's the thing. I'm not going to belabor the point, but basically, like, when you're self-employed in Canada, tax season is long. You might think, like, well, it's just April. It's not just April. It's, it's February, which means it's also January. And then it's April, which means it's also March. And then there's, you know, there's a couple of forms that are, like, due in June or something. I don't know, man. Uh... All I do is pay way too much money to uh, a man who has an office in a large glass building to sort this out, and then I just do whatever he tells me. Um, but I was like, ah, you know what? It's a good idea to get started on it now. It's a little early, but not super early. But then I woke up in the morning, and I was like, I don't really want to do it. I don't want to do it. And I... It made like, you know, I bargained with myself. I was like, eh, hey, you know, we don't have to do it today. We could do it tomorrow. I mean, we could even do it like, you know, in next week or in two weeks. And it wouldn't be, uh, you know, we'd still be on time for it. And then I, you know, I was like, okay, it's settled. I'm going to do nothing today. And then after like, you know, an hour, Kate woke up and she was like, hey, I got a to-do list of like, you know, stuff that we should get done today chores-wise. So I started doing that, you know, took down all the garbage, you know, cleaning the cat's litter box and, you know, getting the dishes set up and stuff like that. Um, and then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm on a productive streak. Let's just do this. So I did like a ton of accounting stuff yesterday. And it was, I, I don't know, every year I'm like, I don't want to do it. And then I start doing it and I'm like, well, it still sucks, but it's not torture. <laughs> it's not that bad. All I'll say, though, is, again, only comment on this if you also have to file taxes while being self-employed. I don't know. In other parts of the world, I don't know how it uh, works. I've, I've made this distinction many times because sometimes I, I'm like, ah, taxes suck. And then people who have, like, you know, a job where your taxes come out every paycheck and all you have to do is basically, like, sign a piece of paper send it to the government and then you get like you know you're like oh my god i got like 700 dollars check in the mail from justin trudeau i'm not shaming you that's your money but i'm just saying you know it's, it's a little different instead you know i gotta call somebody who has no idea what my job is and they're like it, it says here you paid x amount of money to a business called wolves at my door for something called Design and rebranding. Can you explain to me what that is? And I'm like, I don't know if you're gonna... <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be a good and productive use of our time. But anyway. 
I, I draw this distinction. You know, I, I we don't talk politics very often uh, in, in this stuff. I consider it my duty as a citizen and as a citizen that's done well to pay my taxes. Of course. I, it's not like when I write the check, I'm going, oh boy, finally, my favorite day of the year. But I'm like, you know what? This is part of what it means to, uh, you know, to live in a society like the Joker. The only thing I'm complaining about is not that I'm funding hospitals and schools and, you know, MRIs and stuff like that. It's just the process of, of filling out the forms and filing them, and it's, it's complicated. I, I am so envious of other parts of the world um, that have a more simplified tax code and tax setup. Even, like, people always talk about the Scandinavian countries, uh, the Nordic countries, I should say, for having, like, a high tax rate. And anytime I talk to uh, people from those countries, I ask them about tax and how they feel about it, because I'm 500 years old. And uh, they go, yeah, we pay a lot, but, like, you know, you also get a lot. And on top of that, literally filing the taxes is, like, less than a couple of hours of work. I think in Australia... The government does your taxes for you, and then they send you a form that's like, hey, here's what your taxes are, and if you have any disputes, you call them. Man, I would love that. Obviously, it's not plausible to do in Canada, because, I mean, much of Canada is, uh, you know, so rural as to make it hard to contact people reliably. Wait a minute, that applies to Australia. Yeah, but I mean... Um, Canada's population is so much bigger than Australia's that we could... What do you mean they have the close to the same population? Anyway. Hold on, you know, that's a good... Let, let's Google this for a second. Population of Canada, population of Australia. Okay, to be fair, we do have 12 million more people in Canada. And actually, now that I think about it, the country the country is a lot larger geographically speaking. But I don't know, you know, does that mean the emails take longer to arrive? Anyway, that was pretty much, you know, that was my, uh, that was my Saturday. And I, it was good. I mean, it, I mean, it's not, you know, the most exciting Saturday of all time, but it had to be done. And I, uh, it's like the one thing, I'm always talking about procrastination, you know, and how, like, Oh, you know, the number one tip for not procrastinating is just do it, forehead. And then I'm like, man, this is like the one thing that I'm a hypocrite on. Because I'm like, I would love to leave this until the last possible minute. So I put my money where my mouth is. And actually did it. Plus, it helps that this weekend was um, the NHL All-Star break. Why does that matter, NL? Uh, because there's no hockey to watch. <laughs> I did watch the All-Star game, but the All-Star game is not... It's not real hockey, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to gatekeep, but it isn't even supposed to be like around in the area. So we're going to try to use, I mean, we just got piercing shots, which is awesome, but we're going to try to use um, the crooked penny there, because we really can't afford to give up box of friends, I think. And yes, there is no doubt we are going very, very slow right now. Um, but there's, there's a method to the madness on that, I think. On this floor, every... I, well, it, it, we don't even need to make it about this floor. The earlier you get a result, the more it's worth. It's, it's just that simple, you know? You could argue, like, emotionally, you know, having a, a hard-fought run and then getting, a, you know, an item that makes it winnable is uh worth more sure but i mean like on an empirical level like you know the the faster you get the longer you can use a good item for the better that item was the better that result was so we're trying to get like squeeze every little bit out of this run if possible you know that's why we're playing the blood bank i want blood bag um, if we don't get blood bag, that's fine. We're getting closer to, you know, a payout via KMB and Conception. Everything, you know, has, has a purpose right now. Now, we have let it get us a little low on the HP front. That's okay. Probably. We also, we got a humbling bundle, or sorry, contract from below on this floor. That's an extremely good get. Um, the best 
second secret room for us, short of something ridiculous, like, you know, a red chest, or three red chests with guppy items in it, is uh, to be full of red hearts. We could probably get a Cane Bean Conception payout, or a Blood Bag, or a lot of money to, you know, buy three or four items over the course of the rest of the game. This is a, a really nice setup. In fact, I'll, I'll probably just use a bomb, to be honest with you. Excuse me? That wouldn't have found it? Maybe here? Okay, we were just so very slightly off. Um, here, hold on, relax. Don't get hit. This is... We're, we're really big on that new strategy. It's very novel of uh, not taking damage. We don't want to use bombs here if possible. Kind of a subpar payout. It's okay. Don't walk into the fire. Hey, if we have to spend 10 minutes to get through these first few floors, that's fine. The luck upgrade is nice as well. And, you know, you're just waiting for like maybe one red heart. Just, just a red heart. That's okay. Put a bomb down there. And, oh, I didn't even realize we had a hearts remaining in our other rooms as well. So we'll put a bomb down here. Plenty of bombs waiting for us. This, I don't mind. You might think, oh, 10 minutes. This is like train wreck territory. This is a train wreck of our own creation. And as a result, I respect it. I respect it a great deal. But we need to do this now. Because if we, uh... Take a deal with the devil. We won't have any HP to work with. Oh! The last one paid out. It paid out with Succubus, which is... I mean, you could, I'm sure, make a case for that actually being the best possible KMB in Conception payout. Especially if you already have one Incubus. Um, I'm loving life. Now, I mean, everything is crystallized. Wasn't there a key on this room? Whatever. Everything is crystallized. What do you want to see? Uh, a huge damage upgrade. Disproportionately affects Succubus. So, yes, I would love to see it. Um, we didn't get it. I think we're not going to take Death's List. And, and Guppy's Tail is useless by itself. It might even be detrimental by itself. But we're, we're keeping the lights on for a potential uh, Guppy payout. You know I was thinking that was going to do it there. Just be cool. Succubus is gonna get you there, dude. We basically... We're, we're probably not quite there yet. But we're pretty close to just being able to hang out, dodge shots, and let Succubus kill everything for us. Anyway. So that was my Sunday. Or my Saturday, I should say. Sunday... No complaints. is shaping up here. I got uh, no negatives going on. Um... You know, we, we've got like a little bit over a week backlog in Isaac, so I'll tell you, you know, we're not trying to spoil anything necessarily, but Dan, Malf, and I, uh, we're working together on a, and it, I, I say working together as if it's like a huge collaboration, but it's really, it, it's kind of loose, which I like actually, uh, and don't take that out of context, but we, uh, we're all playing Spelunky again, like independently, so I, I'm just going to take credit here. I popped into a little Discord chat with them, and I said, Hey guys, if we're all going to be playing Spelunky independently, what do you think about putting some extra uh, sauce on it? And, like, why don't we all play uh, dailies? Like, we'll play the same daily. And then whoever gets the highest score, like, wins that day, and we'll go for a week or two weeks or ten days or whatever. To their credit, they recognized the great idea when they saw it. They said, Hey, that sounds like a good idea. And I said, Thank you. We're spending a lot of money here, but I'm very for it. And BFF is just disgusting. Honestly, I think I'd rather have cracked the sky. I think I think we've busted this run wide open. So those runs have started, and I'm stoked. I think like that that's one thing I've been trying to do better at. And I think, you know, of all the the little nugget of wisdom that has applied to me for YouTube and, and Twitch stuff over the course of 2020 so far, as early as it is, is that people like to watch what they've already said that they've liked to watch. You know, if you are a fan of my channel, you probably watch me play Isaac. You probably watch me play Spelunky, Gungeon, Slay the Spire, Nuclear Throne, Hades, you know, and, and other stuff, you know, Fallout New Vegas, David Cage games, etc, etc. Um, let's go peep this for a second. I want to see what we got. But, 
just doing exactly the same thing in them over and over becomes a little bit mundane and, and you know, a, a little bit resident sleeper for people sometimes. So I'm trying to come up with like new ways, essentially, ways to repackage, and I know that has a negative uh, stigma associated with it, but you know, change the content up slightly to add one extra wrinkle so that it's more exciting for people again in the ways that it w was, you know, the first times that they started uh, to watch the game. So I think, you know, the three of us who are playing Spelunky, playing against uh, one another, but also, you know, just a friendly competition, it's nice. Now I will say, this is not meant to be disrespectful to Dan at all. If anything, I think he would like that I'm playing up the fact that he's the underdog because it makes his results that much more impressive. Mouth, very good at Spelunky. Let, let, if you take out the, the true outliers who are just insanely great at Spelunky, um, you know, I'm, I'm talking about like the eggplant dudes, including Bear Taffy for that matter. If you take out those guys, Mouth is like in the top echelon, and I think I'm up there with him, but probably slightly behind because I don't have the same kind of patience that he does. And I think that's a benefit when you're trying to get score. Dan, on the other hand, he's like an intermediate Spelunky player. I think he's won a couple of times, but, you know, he, he, not consistently. So, Dan, if he if he pulls out a single win in, uh, in one week or even ten days, I think that would be huge. But that's the beauty of Spelunky, right? Anything can happen. But yeah, in a YouTube sense, that's like... That's where my philosophy has been lately. I'm like... And that's that's where the pentathlon comes from, you know, is this idea that like... Hey, you know, these games I play, if, if I were to go live and be like... You know, I think this is actually worth it here. If I were to go live and be like... Hey, I'm playing Isaac and Gungeon. People, I think, rightfully would hit me with a little snooze. But if I was like, hey, I'm going live to play like these five roguelites and it's an event and you know if I lose early on we have to go back to the start I know there were some growing pains with that I apologize um, but you know it's like it's a you know people I think they, they notice they notice that you're putting more work into it you're putting at least a little wrinkle and you're putting uh, you're putting some extra finesse into it a little extra sauce you know what I mean that's where I'm at right now and then it's the same with the Team Unity Tuesday board game stuff. I'm like, you know, if we were like Team Unity Tuesday, uh, we're playing Candyland. People would be like, ah, Candyland is uh, it's a bad game. It's just roll and move. There's no possible um, input that you can possibly have. By the way, I shouldn't use the nerd voice because all of this is definitely correct. Um, but, you know, if you're like the winner of Candyland is going to move up to first in the overall Team Unity board game standings. Now we're talking. Now we got some, we got some real interest. Anyway, that's, that's my new content philosophy. That's, that's a wrinkle in my new content philosophy. Yas, and two of diamonds? No, that's okay. Uh, Wheel of Fortune will pop it down, which will actually pop two down. Blow it up. No, thank you. Where are we at? Flooded caves too? Oh my god, it's so early. Okay, grab this then, grab this, um, and move on. Did I not? No, I probably got teleported. That's why I didn't go to the item room. Man, okay. It is what it is. I'm having a great time making content again. I know you're probably, well, not probably. I've said that before. I don't know if I believe that anymore. I was going to say you're probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but, you know, I've been... Ooh, it's close, but I actually like this more, I think. I've been so excited making new content again. and You know, the tier lists, they're probably coming pretty close to petering out. I think that, you know, they've... I don't want to say they've overstayed their welcome, but, you know, we're probably getting relatively close to the, the point where we're like, ah, you know, the format is not that interesting for people anymore. We'll just grab this. But it's got my brain percolating with all sorts of stuff we could we could do, you know? Hold on. I'm on top of my headphone cord. But we don't need to talk about that. I, I don't have any concrete ideas necessarily that are in production right now. We'll work on it in the future. 
for now. Let's just focus on uh, thinking about what kind of deal with the devil we're going to get here. Honestly, I think you fish. Honestly, that's uh, a slap in the face. Honestly, that's a meme item. Honestly, don't make me laugh. Honestly, a meme item. Honestly, don't even know why it's in the game. Oh, <laughs> honestly, maybe next time. I'm sorry. Honestly, a cutie. Okay, there you go. This with the... Uh, with the addition of tarot cloth. It's like a dream come true. You guys see the uh, bite released? If you're not familiar with what bite is. It's, uh, let's call it what it is. It's Vine 2.0. Vine, of course, being the app where you could upload six-second videos. Can I tell you something? Here's... It, it's funny, um, because I'm not old. However, I'm old enough that when Vine came out, I was Ebenezer Scrooge, right? And I was like, I don't get it. Why would you ever want a, a video that's only six seconds long? Um... Blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't understand. I well, I'd rather just make videos on YouTube where I can choose their length, by the way. All this is kind of like, is true to an extent. You're probably like, you know, spot the lie. Well, the thing is, you know what's great about uh, and, uh, well, the, the real pull of something like Vine? And now I get it. The real pull of something like Vine is uh, because videos are only six seconds long, you can kind of like get an endless uh, scroll of new content and the content has to get an idea across in so little time. On YouTube, don't get me wrong, I, I'm happy you're watching me on YouTube, but like, you know, there's a huge time investment if you don't know who I am. This is just terrible damage. And you're like, oh, The Binding of Isaac episode 1800, it's 45 minutes long. It, it relies on a scaffolding of inside jokes that I've never heard of it before in my entire life. And uh, everybody's calling this dude Egg. I don't understand why. You know, you get the idea. You'll see it like a thumbnail on YouTube. You, know, you watch a video on YouTube and then it's like, Hey, do you want to watch another video? It's uh, a 90 minute video essay of an N64 game that came out. You know, in 1997. Vine, on the other hand, is like, Hey, you know, you just watched a video of a cat making a funny noise. Here's a video of a dude trying to punch somebody else in the face, and they fell down. That's it. Like, and I'm, I'm struggling right now. Because I'm like, I, I did, I, I got my account. I'm, and I'm, I'm a believer to some extent in the, in the humor of these video platforms. However, I'm like, dude, six seconds? How do you get something across in six seconds? I've, I've seen some great vines. I will admit. Hold on, do we want... I think we just want this. Oh, that's an easy grab. Who needs Box of Friends when you can just pick up one of every fami uh, familiar to begin with? Oh, and we got the ability to fly uh, for the price of on the house. You love to see it. Take me to the next floor. Six... I am, I am in awe of these people who can make... A, a, a six second video work and I'm I mean that with one trillion percent sincerity like if you there's there's differences right if you're just out and you film something funny that's six seconds long you kind of I don't want to be negative about it but you kind of just got lucky you know what I mean if you actually craft a six second sketch and put it up on these platforms and it gets a laugh you're like a, as far as I'm concerned, you're like a god of comedy, and I'm being sincere. You're like, I I don't understand how you how you do it, and that's, I think that's really cool. I'm I'm still working on it. We're not even close yet. You know, like people are, if you, if you're negative about Vine, by the way, and actually I didn't really finish my or bite I should say, but I didn't really finish my train of thought from earlier. What I was gonna say earlier is, you know, on the first pass, I was. Uh, I was negative about Vine, but so much time has passed since the dissolution of Vine that now people are nostalgic for something that I was cynical about to begin with. Honestly, we'll... Oh, we can take them both? I don't think we want the other one. Thanks, but no thanks. Maybe we'll get a... Uh, 
a Perthro rune or something. But now I'm like, I think I'm old enough to be like, hey, I don't really know what's going on on this platform, but let's let's hop on and see what happens. You know, we can have some fun with it. Not Perthro. But if you're negative about Vine, here's or bite, here's the way I think of it right now. Okay, you know, it, it, it's they're like short stories. You know how people always post like, you know, oh, for sale baby shoes, never worn. They're like, wow, it's deep, dude. It's kind of like that. It takes a lot of, I mean, the, the nugget of wisdom, I think, here, if, if there is one, is, uh, I guess we're just leaving. Um, you know, restriction breeds creativity to some extent, you know? If you have uh, infinite words, you can say whatever you want. If you have limited words, you got to be a lot more creative. I don't really want any of these. That's not to say, well, I don't really want any of these either, to be honest. That's not to say that shorter things are always better. But rather, you know, it, it forces you to be a little bit more creative, I think. Like, if you've got 15 minutes to get a, uh, a point across, even if you stumble over your words, you can make it happen. If you've got 22 words to get your point across, you got to have that thing honed to a, to a freaking science. That being said, I don't know if I've really seen a breakout bite video yet. I don't know if I... I've seen some stuff where I'm like, haha, I get it. I'm, I'm talking very, uh... Like, intellectually, which is comical to me, uh, about a platform where probably the, funnest, the funniest video I've seen so far is a guy going, Hey guys, bite just came out, I hope it's gonna open a lot of doors, and then he walks into a door that, like, hits him in the face. That's... And I even then I'm like, you know what? For me, that's like a five and a half out of ten. But I'm I'm just waiting for the the Werner Herzog of bite. And then you'll all be sorry. Sorry? I meant laughing. You'll all be laughing. And having a good time. Having a good time. Okay. Thank you. Alsus is not worth anything. Hagalaz, you know, there's there's some merit to Hagalaz. We got petrified poop out of it. We already have booger tears. I don't think we need the... I mean, we don't really want petrified poop, but I don't think we really need Nose Goblin anymore. The only thing I'm going to say about Isaac for a bit here is this run still is slightly under the gun. Shouldn't have been there. We have enough HP to not be apprehensive. However, a couple of bad plays and we could be apprehensive. There's no doubt about it. I think we'd rather have HP plus a little damage bonus. Um, okay, so I mean the obvious play here is Dark Judas. And I don't think you take Headless Baby here. I think we'd rather preserve uh, our HP... The, this time, sometimes you get uh, Judas' Shadow and you use it uh, proactively. We're using it reactively here for sure. If we die, we have a respawn. That's, that's the big money maker. Man, if you could refactor a little of Isaac. Like, again, apparently we are going to talk a little bit more about Isaac, but... Surely one of the things you might consider doing is buffing an item like Book of Secrets that as of right now is like it, it literally can't provide any benefit but Bookworm because we have the mind which just supersedes it. Now the mind is a rare item. I mean it's not like a big deal. You'd have to be a pretty big nerd to complain about this stuff which is why I'm doing it. But still... So many items just uh, cannibalize the effects of other items. Even if if Book of Secrets... Well, now, you, uh, you know what? I deserve this. Because I was going to say Book of Secrets... Um, what if you gave it the same effect as Book of Sin? Where it gave you a little bit of mapping, but also paid out with... Uh, you know, a, a consumable that could be a Spirit Heart, even. Okay, fair enough. Then you've got... What's the point of having Book of Sin, then, when Book of Secrets is strictly better? 
Or, you know, when Crystal Ball accomplishes something that's almost exactly the same. To be honest with you, I just don't feel like I can... Uh, I don't want to take Sack Alter. We have BFF, Incubus, Succubus. Sure, some of our items are probably... You know, it, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to get rid of, like, you know, Fate's Reward or Little Steven. But I don't want to lose one of our money makers right now. And we can always, you might say, why not take the Shovel or the Sack Altar for that matter and suck it up with Black Rune. It's actually a pretty good idea. But there, there is, I don't want to say there's one thing in the way, but... We could always use Black Rune on the chest, or what I was thinking about here is, you know, we could use Black Rune in conjunction with the left hand to turn some of these garbage items into actual stats for us, because, like, clearly we do not care about uh, Cursed Eye. So for me, I'm like, you know, and it, I, I'm disappointed that that was a health down, but life goes on. Let's see what we got here. I'm completely okay with this. Anyway, toast them. What was I talking about? I mean, I've just been I've been spinning my wheels conversationally, just just kind of talking about whatever pops into my head, you know. At the end of the day, I've been trying to have more fun with stuff, be more open to stuff. For too long, I think I've, well, it's not like a huge philosophical change. But I think I've been the guy who's like, I don't get it, therefore I won't interface with it. This year I'm like, I don't get it. Let's try it out though. Obviously a lot of people like it. Let's throw some stuff at the wall and hey, if, uh, if Byte users decide I am uh, boring, no big loss because I don't really understand the platform to begin with. But maybe Byte users will be like, hey, this boomer's funny AF. And, you know, slowly we'll start to piece together. I don't want to be here. Uh, how to... How to have fun on the platform. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm questioning... Oh my god. Whether or not I want to get rid of the left hand... And I'll level with you? Right now, the answer to that question is no. This is the rare situation where so keyless that I would rather get 16 red chests at the start of the next floor than 16 golden chests, for sure. There's no doubt. And I would say, you know, with these stats and, like, this particular setup, our odds of becoming guppy are, like, you know, probably, like, over 75%. Plus, it's a great location to post uh, cat videos. So if that's what you're looking for, you can find them. I gotta say, we, we got lucky to get Succubus and BFF on this run. Because we have not... I haven't really talked about it. But, like, this run actually is pretty bad. Well, I mean, it it's not helping my case when I, uh, you know, stand there as shots come in. But this run is actually not very, very good. Our, our stats are really bad. We got, like, one damage upgrade and a tears upgrade. But, you know, Succubus, Rodden Baby, BFF, you know, we, we got a lot of, like, additive effects that don't show up on the scoreboard as much, but are still very helpful. But it, I, I'll go ahead and say it. This is the kind of run, and I, I don't know if I've ever said this before. This is the kind of run where if we weren't Lilith, I think we might have run into problems. Like, as, as of right now, Lilith is probably the reason this run's doing as well as it is. Okay, well, you don't mind seeing that. You don't like to see that, but Succubus will handle it. Okay, we're just... <laughs> what do you got here? Okay, more spiders and more bombs. That's the danger of, you know, Yera on red chests, because they pay out in a theme, right? But, uh... I'm not too disappointed by it. it. Really, if one of them had spirit hearts, we would have been sitting pretty. Whether or not, you know, there's a guppy item in our future or not. But the truth of the matter is we're pretty much set regardless. And this will be win 24. Or whatever. We're, we're in the ballpark. I think it's win 24. I really think... I don't want to say that it, the streak is, like, artificial... 
But I think we've had a substantially lower portion of keeper runs than on previous streaks. Now, I don't know, there's like 13 characters in the game to have the keeper once, I think. In, uh... Come on. Oh, oh those are items, though. I, I had to take it. They're items! Let's go! Four items. No threat! Let me out! That's fine. Um... To have the Keeper once in like 25 runs is not necessarily an incredible dose of good luck. It's less than, you know, you'd expect, but still. You know, you just gotta... All I'm saying is... I'm not necessarily saying I'm back, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Whatever, dude. You, you, you can't kill me. You can hit me. You can hurt me. Sticks and stones may break my bones. A friend in need is a friend indeed, but a friend named Geed is better. You guys ever played the uh, Diablo 2? Good day to you, partner. My name's Geed. I can already tell I'll be your best friend in this godforsaken camp. I haven't played Diablo 2 since... I'm, I'm guessing it was like the year 2003, but... Thanks to the game's enduring cultural legacy and also Josh quoting it relentlessly whenever I, uh, you know, see him or talk to him. You've got quite the treasure there in that Herodric cube. Obviously, stay a while and listen. When I fled the monastery, I left behind my trusty, my trusty malice. <laughs> he, he's lost it. He's officially lost it. He's got the brain worms, dude. That's weird. Um, unfortunately, also worthless. Ah, you know what? Doesn't it give you the Bible? It either gives you the Bible or a penny. If it gave us the Bible, it would give us bookworm. But that's... It's not worth even walking backwards slightly. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Maybe they don't pay out in the theme, because these are different. Let's see what we got in here. We will not lose, just for the record. Things could be very slightly spiced. We, we might die a couple of times even, but I don't think we will. No real use for the Yera right now, unfortunately, but that's okay. Terrible. Just an absolutely terrible place to stand. That's right, Curse of the Tower is a little spicy too. But do keep in mind um, that if we die, well, when we die, we will come back as Dark Judas eventually. Plus, we're generating all sorts of flies out of this one. Really, it's like, we, I'm, I'm, my heart rate has not risen. I'm being completely sincere. Because I mean, we were so confident. Like, we just, we had it locked in. Dark Judas would not have let us die. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya. See ya.